bad speech to give a very nervous one, so I can't. Wait till he finishes, Kel. <laughs>
crazy about him. I was drawn to his positive outlook on life, his coolness, his recklessness, his wisdom, his love of nature, just to name a few things. These qualities made a lasting impression on me. We lost contact for 20 odd years, and although my life had some wonderful adventures and meaningful experiences along the way, at times I would wonder about that guy. <laughs> on board a plane bound for Bali on a yoga retreat, I met a woman on the plane who said she knew Paul, and I and, and she said he's single. And I'm like, oh, well, that's very interesting. <laughs> and then when I arrived in Bali, I met another man who also was from Byron, and I asked the same question, and he said, yeah, I think, you know, I said a bit about him, and then yeah, I think he's single. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> so anyway, when I got back to Sydney, um, sorry, um, when I got back to Sydney, I googled his name, found out where he was, and they were going to Now look where we are. Who would have thought? When we met back up, really? I immediately saw the same form that I remembered, the man I was waiting for all this time. <laughs> What I love about Paul, Paul makes me laugh. No, For the past two years, Paul has filled my life with more laughter and lightness than I can ever remember. Honey. The word loving has taken on a whole new meaning for me since being together with Paul. Paul knows how to love in every sense of the word. He is incredibly accepting, patient, giving and tolerant. Okay, let's face it. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Especially so me. And Paul has never criticised my imperfections, nor his own, which I think. So having said that, my love for Paul stems from admiration and respect, which I feel is my foundation. My love for Paul. <laughs> I'm so happy for my husband and I'm excited about sharing my life. 